What the fuck is up, 420 Mania? I am back with another episode. Today, we be doing a strain review on some crack, aka Green Kush, aka Green Crack. Got the name from Green Crack, got its name from Snoop Dogg. The original name for Green Crack is called uh, Green Kush. So, let me guys show you the product. You probably like 420 Mania. Why didn't you use stuff with the license? Legal marijuana bag. Well, first off, one, I don't, I don't buy my weed from dispensaries because I get the same dispensary call quality weed, but half the price and no tax, dude. I get like good ass homegrown weed. Look at that small, chunky, frosty little nug, man. I get the same quality the dispensary sells. For cheaper, dispensary is probably for something like this. This frosty, some shops or heads. Let me see if I get a bit bigger, better bud. But some shops should be charging like I don't know, forty dollars an eighth for these, or thirty five dollars an eighth. This video Wait. recording is unavailable on YouTube. I have to switch over to the iPhone camera app. So let's get it, guys. Cheers. That first hit got me good. Got me feeling. Ooh, I can feel it. Yeah, but my so far that first little hit and then the first little bowl, I do feel the energetic effect and I feel like ready to go, ready to start my day, ready to do some push-ups. I feel my I don't know. I don't I just feel good. You very you taste that in a very nice flowering taste, a very nice piney and earthy taste, very good flavoring, very good smoke in general. Like green crack is definitely meant for the morning. And any time of the day, well, it's just mainly meant for, like, any time you want to feel, like, when you're feeling tired and you have a little burst of energy and you don't have coffee, or if you're like me, you don't like drinking coffee, it's like equivalent to, like, a cup of coffee, I would say. Cheers. So I gotta clear up my storage on my phone and so I'm gonna delete, delete a shitload of pictures. But overall, yeah, this green crack is good for any time of the day when you just wanna put that energetic burst and that energetic energetic feel. Man, you can just see all the tricones in on the inside, man, that have been untouched. Holy shit, some frosty ass stuff, man. And when I when I did did buy some flour from the dispensary, that stuff like in two days, like when you broke it down with your fingers, like turned into powder. Like what the fuck kind of shit is that, dude? It was all nice and dense, almost like good quality bud. Like but two days later, like a day or two later, you fucking just you break it down with your finger and it should be all dusty. Like what the fuck? That's not good weed. That's like shitty weed. And I paid fifty dollars for that eighth. 
It's like, you know, it's like fuck that. I'm going to go to the dispensary again. Oh, are you buying flour from the dispensary? I buy cartridges all day long from the dispensary. But flour, pre-rolls, yes, because that's the different story, because that's a pre-roll. Everyone's going to buy a joint. Especially the, um, the Three Kings of fucking um, Norman Souls, or um, what the hell is that shop? Up North Cannabis Souls? Such an amazing strain, man. It's just a good, like, pick me up and wake me up. I will be reviewing ice cream cake next as my next train review. But overall, I'm gonna give this green crack the flavoring. That's crazy, my uh, neighbor that lives right behind me. Or my backyard neighbor. Her ex husband goes to speed. <laughs> it is phenomenal. So let's do one more bowl and get the fuck up out of here. But my overall thoughts on this green crack, dude, it's a, it's a phenomenal strain. If you like, if you type of person like me that, that likes to do wakes and bake and doesn't want to feel tired, or like, you know how in the cuts get you, but it's like a CT without. That will fuck it, that will wake you up. I got a monster in my pool. But no, this should be like the type of shit TV that, that's definitely good for waking, baking, a little good to wake me up, you know? I was thinking about rolling the blunt, but then I, put, I just remembered I smoked all my blunt wraps <laughs> yesterday. But a bong just hits just as fucking fat and it constricts you, bud. Well, depending on how, bold, how much bowl to smoke. This is like part of my bowl number three. But I'm doing a video for you guys, so you know the deal. My bowl is nice and packed. This is to be my last bowl. Let's fucking do a fat whip for you guys. And if you guys are new to my channel, what the heck is up? What the fuck is up? My name is 420 Mania. And I do all things cannabis related from weed, uh, from flower reviews, strain reviews, um, cartridges reviews, wax review, dabs, etc. Um, but yeah, my overall thoughts the, 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 on this flowering, I would give it a, a 7 out of 10. That's how good it is, man. The quality and the care and the trimming of it is just nice and fucking, you can really see the, the orange hairs and that's just beautiful itself.
some good quality and the high you just feel like you don't you know like honestly i don't really feel high you just feel like energetic and just more focused and more aware Dude, I'm pretty up there. Like, I'm not necessarily like baked or anything, but I feel like I feel the effects, dude.